Hey you guys, welcome to your weekend edition love and general reading. This is for the element of earth. So if you're a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, someone arising, these messages are for you for the weekend of um, April, April 9th through the 11th, 2021. So I want to thank you guys for all your love and support. Please keep in mind these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully uh, you get some clarity. Also, if you guys are wanting to book a personal or private reading, be sure to check the description box below for ways to reach me. Um, and if you want to reach me by phone, it's a separate process. So just make sure that you're registered at bill per call. Um, you can request a call back. And if I don't get back to you, get back to you that day, I'll get back to you within a seven day time frame. Um, also, be sure to check out Patreon because the Venus sign readings are there now. Do those monthly as well as additional content that you may enjoy. Um, so we have the overall energy as the Six of Wands, Knight of Cups, the Hierophant. Then we have the Three of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Knight of Wands, Tower, and the Empress. Okay, so the overall energy is about um, moving forward and having confidence in some sort of decision that you're making. I feel like whatever you're deciding to do, um, you have supporters. Um, I feel like there are people around you who are encouraging you to do what you feel like you need to do. Um, I feel too like maybe um, you're going to receive some sort of confirmation or receive some sort of feedback in regards to your career and whatever this feedback is I feel like it's something that is uh, positive um, so yeah it looks like you're getting a lot of attention and encouragement this weekend um, even if you are the one doing the encouraging I feel like somehow um, it's being returned to you. So it's kind of like mutual, a mutual exchange here. I support you, you support me type of energy. Um, it also looks like maybe someone's going to reveal how they feel. So in a romantic situation, I don't know if someone's been coming off reserved, but it looks like now that uh, someone has the courage to come forward, um, has the confidence to be themselves and to approach you or pursue you. You also might have uh, multiple options, multiple suitors, um, but it seems like people are, you know, giving you a lot of attention and singing your praises. Um, looks like you're also maybe following through with something that is part of your tradition. Mm, something seems traditional. This weekend so I don't know if you if there's some sort of family tradition or something that you do on the weekend it's like a routine or it's tradition I feel like that is something that is going on as well like maybe um, I don't know what is special about this weekend but maybe every every other Sunday or every other Saturday like you and a group of people get together and you do something you make some sort of plans together especially if it's something dealing with sports um, I don't know if someone's into fantasy sports or if someone is placing bets um, or if there's just some sort of family tradition going on over the weekend and now I'm getting kind of like a similar energy from another video that was done uh, I know Ramadan starts soon, so those of you that participate in Ramadan, maybe that is something that you're doing, uh, preparing for with the family. Um, now, it also looks like you, you guys are maybe having to take on more responsibilities or um, having to get advice, some sort of professional advice. Seems like maybe you're getting professional help with something. And whatever this is, is giving you some sort of direction. I don't know if you're in a relationship where you needed some sort of, some sort of counseling. That may be something that's going on too. And, you know, you're being encouraged to do something that you feel like you need to do. 
Um, okay, so I see some sort of mixed energy going on. Like your career, it seems like maybe there's a promotion, um, but that means I guess walking away from another position and maybe you really like that position, but you felt you feel like this promotion is better, or maybe you didn't really want to leave your job, but they because they're not paying enough, you end up getting hired somewhere else. You interviewed and got hired somewhere else, so it's like um, it's bittersweet. So I feel like something is also like a bittersweet victory uh, this weekend. You're gaining and losing something at the same time. Um, there's a need for you to also finish up any um, projects that you started on and left off, or if there was some sort of relationship that got started um, but never had a chance to complete. I feel like there's a, a need to complete anything that was started and didn't, didn't get a chance to finish. Now, it also looks like something's being abandoned because you don't like it anymore, um, especially more so if you are if you're an artist or like you're making some sort of plans for something and whatever you've been working on you kind of stand back and look at it and you're like I don't like this anymore so you kind of like throw it away or you like you paint over something or you erase everything you wrote um, or maybe you you're making some sort of business plans and you're like I don't like these ideas I'm, I'm gonna scrap it so something that it looks like you had started on, you don't like it. You don't like it anymore. <clears throat> and I feel like you're wanting to change something up. <sighs> could be a fire sign in a picture. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also could be water, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Now I see something happening out of the blue as well. If it's about a love connection, looks like you have some sort of uh, attraction towards someone. Maybe it's revealed that they're attracted to you too. Um, it seems very intense. I also feel that, again, talking about something that was started is going to fall apart. So something may have uh, been built on a weak foundation. You may be needing to make some sort of repairs to your home or to your car uh, this weekend because something wasn't put together well. Um, so any type of minor repairs, like maybe a shelf breaks, um, maybe the fridge goes out, maybe a light bulb needs changing. So it just seems like something um, minor like that may need attention. Mm. Something also may be going on with commitment. I don't know if someone's deciding that they want to walk away from a prior engagement or commitment, like a literal engagement. Like someone was engaged and now, now they're like, this is not for me. I don't want to do this anymore. Something's missing. I've got to, you know, walk away from this. And so I feel like someone is walking away from an engagement. Um, now also, something else I was getting here about these unexpected changes. It does look like regardless of what happens, the universe is kind of intervening, like something is out of your hands. And I feel like it's going to happen regardless. Or something is going to force you out of your comfort zone. Or force you to take some sort of action before you were ready. So maybe you were going to do something. Um, approach someone. Uh, start a business. Or whatever it was that you were planning on doing. Like maybe you were trying to do it on your time. You're like, I'm not ready to do it. You know, but I am getting ready and I'm going to start or I'm going to take some sort of action um, maybe within the next month or so. But something happens and you're forced to do something sooner than anticipated. So I feel like you're having, a, like I said, a, a band in some sort of previous engagement or plans.
definitely looks like someone is letting go definitely could be a breakup um, or a sudden realization that you're not happy or that you feel stuck it's like you're having some sort of realization but this realization doesn't really seem to feel good you're like I don't like this what I'm I don't want to do this or I don't want to be in this relationship I don't want to have this child I don't want unfortunately now I do apologize if it's actually that it's not that someone aborted a baby but uh, had a miscarriage so it's possible that something like that could happen too, like um, some sort of unexpected loss. Mm, yeah, is there some sort of grieving going on? Um, and then also, if it is something about a miscarriage, I feel like someone is blaming themselves and saying, I shouldn't have done that. I should, it's my fault for doing this or doing that. And I feel like don't blame yourself if that's the case because the, the tower indicates that something something had to happen. Something, um, this is something that's just unexpected. It was out of your hands. You know, like outside forces are stepping in for whatever reason. Maybe something wasn't the right time. This also looks like some sort of unexpected job loss or finances. Um, and then it looks like maybe someone reveals the fact that they are hurting. Maybe someone did not want to talk about something that they were going through, like um, emotional pain or even like a, a, an illness. Like someone was like, had too much pride to be like, um, to admit that they were going through something or that they were sick and I feel like if someone has been sick it's being revealed they can't hide it or hold it in anymore I'm getting like a um, unsatisfactory, just feeling unsatisfied, unfulfilled. It's like eating stuff and then still feeling like, ugh, that wasn't satisfying. I don't know. I wasn't in a mood for that. I should have ate something else. And then you just keep eating or snacking because your appetite wasn't fulfilled. I feel like some there's a, one of those feelings um, that you might be experiencing. Some of you are also walking away from an illusion or taking off the rose tinted glasses. Someone is also in a relationship that is a facade. Someone is not really happy um, or some someone is posting something online and it's an illusion. They're happiness. They're not really happy. Someone is really um, sad inside or there's an emptiness. And I feel like someone is just trying to fulfill a void. I also feel like someone is realizing that they are not in love or they're realizing that they're unhappy at their job. I feel like if you leave whatever situation you're in is for the best. You're, the star is waiting to give you what you deserve. So by you remaining in a situation that you're not really happy in, it is kind of like you're blocking your blessings. And so I feel like the star is about, um, you know, recognizing that what's for you is for you. So if you walk away from it, you know, it's like you have to take some sort of action first.
So if you take some sort of action towards what your desires are, the universe is going to intervene and assist you and help you achieve whatever goal that is. But you do have to leave something first. Now, I see something going on with someone doing some sort of research. Um, okay, so if this is personal, I feel like somebody is uh, looking at their um, birth chart or they're looking at someone else's or just trying to understand something in regards to astrology um, or any type of esoteric wisdom or knowledge. Uh, if this is job related, I feel like someone is doing their research on a company or um, just looking for another job in general. I feel that there is some sort of studying going on. You may be studying uh, religion or spirituality. Hmm. Now, also, if you were invited to something, invited to join a, a group or organization, I feel that you're going to end up feeling like it isn't for you. You're like, you know what? I thought I would like this group. It might be just something online. You know, you might feel like, I don't like this group. I'm going to leave. Um, so I feel like you're walking away from something that you just cannot relate to. Even if it's something like you you um, started a new bank account somewhere. It's like, it's, I feel like it's something that you just started that you end up feeling like, oh, it's not for me. I, I got to let this go. I got the name Priscilla for somebody. Someone's also being um, tempted with temptation. Uh, it's just like having some sort of desires right in front of you. Someone, someone could be the catalyst for a breakup um, or the catalyst for someone leaving a job or getting fired. But especially more so for a breakup, I feel like someone is the catalyst um, of a breakup because it's like the connection that you're having with someone um, is so intense to the point that it helps them realize that, damn it, I'm living a lie. Like this isn't, what am I doing? I just kind of feel that you may end up snapping someone to their sense, senses, bringing someone to their senses or... Um, snapping someone out of an illusion or someone does that to you. Mm, I don't know if a fire sign is the person that triggers you and makes you realize that you've been living a lie or if the fire sign is the person that you're with and you're like, what am I doing here? But someone else awakens you from that illusion. Something, it looks like you were also in denial of what you were feeling uh, at first. And I feel like you were trying not to think about somebody. You've been trying not to think about somebody, but it's overwhelming you. Looks like you've been avoiding desires or temptation, but something keeps uh, forcing you to look at something. So let me go ahead and pull some additional cards. All right, what additional messages are there for my earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, 
for this Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Ooh, we have Cornucopia, Door to Personal Healing and Happiness, Angel of Balance, Overall Energy, Deceit. So, like I was saying, somebody is living a lie. Um, I feel like either, maybe you're feeling like you've been bamboozled. Mm, whatever the case, I feel that, you know, you're headed towards abundance here. It could be financial abundance, emotional abundance. Um, maybe you had to be deceived to walk away from something. Or like I said, you're, you're realizing that you've been living a lie. Um, and I feel like you want freedom. You want to be detached from whatever was false. So I feel like the truth is being revealed to you. You are having some sort of awakening or realization. And I feel like you're also being, you're focusing on getting back in alignment with what it is that you want or what your desires are. Because maybe you've been off track. Now it also looks like Someone is being spoiled. I don't know if someone is giving you gifts anonymously or uh, or if you are doing that. But I feel like someone is sending gifts to somebody. Or someone is trying to get someone to follow some sort of clues. It's almost like this guy is leaving out some sort of breadcrumbs and wanting you to follow where it's leading. And wherever these breadcrumbs are leading to, it looks like abundance. So it looks like you're having to be tricked into having some sort of financial um, abundance or emotional abundance. It does say it's the door to personal healing and happiness, I guess. Just the way you got there may have, like you had to be tricked into it or something. And then I think I got that for the Taurus reading too, like being tricked into a relationship, like spiritually baited into something. But so far, I don't see anyone being unhappy about it. Yep, magician in a mirror, definitely something has you looking one way while something else uh, is happening around you. So uh, it's like you've been distracted or you had to get distracted from whatever you were doing to go in a different direction. Mm. Now, this is also something is also kind of like a warning. Be careful of who you purchase things from, especially like um any type of ointments or oils or I don't know what this is, but it kind of looks like someone is deceptive with their product. Someone is selling deceptive products. Um, someone is talking about the benefits of something and it's like nothing's happening. Maybe you bought some hair growth oil and you've been using it for like a month. And you're like, nothing's happening. My hair is still the same length. Whatever product that you've been purchasing, I feel like it's some some lies. The, the labels, whatever that label is saying is not true. Or whatever they're promoting it does, it's not true, even though it's bringing a lot of money. Now, that also could be you. I don't know if somehow you're like, oh, I'm going to make some money by saying this, that, and the other. And whatever you're talking uh, uh, selling to people is not true or it's some sort of truth mixed in the lies but magician in the mirror yeah mm, be careful who you are 
getting your spiritual advice from because this person may be misleading people. I feel like intentionally, someone is intentionally misleading people because they're making so much money from it. Um, so someone might be selling uh, utopia. They're like, oh, you know, this is your path to freedom. This is um, a way to get out of debt. This is a way to do this, that, and the other. Um, sign up with my company. You know, I just need seven signatures. And then, you know, something could be like a pyramid scheme or be careful for anything that you're asked to join or sign up with because um, somebody might be scamming people out of money or misleading people. Um, that's the shadow side of it. The positive I'm getting is that you are being led on some sort of spiritual path or being uh, guided out from a relationship because, uh, you know, spirit had to kind of distract you and get your attention some way um, to get you out of a situation that you shouldn't have been in. Yeah. So hopefully these messages have helped. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Sending you love and grace.